Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and today's video is five things we learned from Manchester United to Aston Villa 1. What a game, that's the first thing I might say. I like what I saw today, yes it was an intense game, it had me on the edge of my seat. I was really scared Villa were going to score and make it 2 I was nervous, I was frustrated that we didn't take some of our chances. But it was a brilliant game because we played some brilliant football, Ollie ball, whatever you call it. The football we played today was brilliant, we created chances. Villa created a lot of chances as well, you know, we, I think we defended very well other than one or two occasions. But yeah, it's a game that honestly could have been 5-4. I think we were generally the better team. I think Villa were really good today. I thought we were really good today. But I think I look at some of our chances, look at Villa's chances, and it's a really close game. It could have gone either way. I'm happy with the win because we played well. I thought every player on the pitch played well today. From the French through to, the, through to attack. Scott McTominay looked a little bit off it today. He's the only exception, but I still think he was all right. We won the game 2-1. Three points is the most important thing, but I just liked the way we played today. I thought everyone played well the full 90 minutes I, do you know what i mean i just think we were good i think villa were really good they tested us and i think going into liverpool game it's going to give us a lot of confidence so yeah hit that like button subscribe down below share this video and let's get into five things we learned versus aston villa and the first thing we learned was manchester united were playing quick fast attacking football against wolves we were awful at pass and our passing was dreadful we were playing it so slow so sideways but against Villa, from minute one to minute 90, whenever we got the ball, we were driving forward. Fred made so many driving runs. McTominay was making runs forward. You know, up with Fernandez. you know, whenever we got the ball, we were moving the ball forward. I thought Pogba had a really good game. I was really impressed with Paul Pogba. Yeah, but we were moving the ball quickly. Like, when we got the ball, we were playing it so quickly, moving it forward, passing. Or because we were moving the ball quickly, because we were moving it forward, because we were passing quickly, because our passing was good. I thought Fernandez could have got two or three assists. I think he had like five key passes or something. We played great football. Like we played well. We created so many chances. Obviously, Villa created a fair few chances, but we expected them to with Jack Grealish. But I think we had like 20 shots and like nine or ten on target. And you know, the Aston Villa keeper had to put on a few good saves. Pogba narrowly, narrowly missed twice. You know, Rashford got in some good positions. Martial had two good shots saved. You know, we could have scored more. You know, if that was Kepper in goal, we would have scored four or five. You know, I just think the football we played was brilliant because our passing was good. We were moving it quickly, we were moving it forward. I thought Bruno Fernandes was excellent. I thought Paul Pogba was excellent. And I felt like all the players actually turned up today. I thought Rashford was excellent, but I feel like Rashford was a bit frustrated having to cut in on his left foot. You could tell his shooting wasn't as good as it is on his right foot. But yeah, I thought everyone was excellent today. And I think the attacking football was absolutely brilliant. The second thing I want to talk about is that Paul Pogba Luke Shaw partnership on the left caused a lot of problems. This is the Paul Pogba I want to see. I thought Luke Shaw was brilliant today. I was really impressed with Luke Shaw. I mean, bloody hell, these players dived on Luke Shaw twice. I mean, like, it's just stronger than them. I thought the ref was atrocious today, I'm not going to lie. But Paul Pogba wins the penalty. Paul Pogba was really threatening on the left. He was winning all the balls in the air. He was controlling it. He was creating him and Luke Shaw doing his one-twos. Pogba created a fair few chances. I thought defensively Pogba was good. He played a part in the build-up to a goal. I thought, obviously, physicality. I just think we caused, was it Matty Cash, quite a lot of problems. Pogba and Luke Shaw, I thought they were brilliant. And I'm not the biggest fan of Pogba on the left. I like Pogba in a more box-to-box -box role. But I do think that Pogba-Luke Shaw partnership worked really well. And I'm just really happy to see that Pogba's had a fair few good games lately. We know he's going to leave. But we know that there's a quality player in Pogba. And I thought Luke Shaw was brilliant. I thought Fred was brilliant. I thought Pogba was brilliant. I think everyone was brilliant today. But I have to say that left-hand side, I think, was causing them problems. And I do think that Luke Shaw proves why he's picked up a teller as making those driving runs. The third thing I want to talk about is Eric Bailly, my man of the match. Now, there's a lot of man of the match contenders. But Eric Bailly saved off with that last-minute block. That amazing diving header. And Eric Bailly adds so much to this Manchester United squad. I thought Eric Bailly was world-class today. And the thing about Eric Bailly is, I like Victor Lindelof. And I think Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire are both good centre-backs. But they don't work together. But because of Bailly's pace, Maguire looks so much better next to Bailly than he does next to Lindelof. Maguire is pants next to Lindelof. Lindelof is the best out of Maguire and Lindelof when they play together. But today... I thought Harry Maguire was really good because I think Eric Bailly's pace means that Harry Maguire doesn't need to worry so much. Eric Bailly's case, his recovery case, you know, Grealish is really hard to deal with. You know, I think Hiram Wampasaka, other than the goal we conceded, dealt with it well. You know, he made a diving header, he blocked it. I thought Eric Bailly was world class today and I think it's not just Eric Bailly's performance, it's what he adds to the squad. Because of Eric Bailly's pace, we can play a higher line, we can play more attacking football. Because of Eric Bailly's pace, 
pace, Maguire plays better. You know, we only conceded one goal. Our last game was a clean sheet. Everton was a clean sheet. You put Eric Bailly in the squad and, we've, con you know, we've conceded less goals. I think that he's brilliant. I thought he was man of the match. And I'm going to read out his game numbers. via Statman Dave on Twitter. 81% park pass accuracy, seven ball recovery, six clearances, one block, wasn't dribble pass and he looked so confident on the ball when he got the ball. He was driving up the pitch, he was driving up pitch and he just looked so confident on the ball. And I also want to read out what um, Bruno Fernandes' game numbers because I think it shows how much we created in this game and how much we did going forward because I think Eric Bailly's pace at the back meant that we could go forward with more less risk in a sense, you know, we didn't have to have such, like, we could have a higher line. And I want to tell you that we created a lot of chances. So I'm going to read out Bruno Fernandes' game numbers as well via Statman Dave on Instagram. 80% pass accuracy, eight ball recoveries, five shots, two on target, five chances created, two tackles, one, one goal, a direct hand in 10 shots. He was creating things. He should have got an assist. Bruno Fernandes was amazing. The fourth thing I want to talk about is kind of a negative, but I'm going to turn it into a positive. Okay, we need to sign Jack Bloody Grealish. He was class. Beckham-esque, but Jack Grealish's crosses were the thing causing us problems. Everything Villa did came from a Jack Grealish cross out wide. The amount of brilliant ball deliveries he put in, you know, Aaron Wan Saka defended one brilliantly stretching a leg out, you know, because it was Aaron Wan Saka's fault on the first goal, so fair play, he redeemed himself. Eric Bayer to, with the diving header to save us on another. Jack Grealish's crosses were on the money, and Manchester United's problem this season is Fullbacks tuck in crosses. Crosses have caused us problems, but I think we defended them really well. I thought Maguire was a lot better today. I thought Bayer was a lot better today. I do think that Grealish causes problems on the, on the, in those wide areas. I think Al Wambasaka needs to work on his positioning, but I'm happy he got an assist. He put in some great tackles. He put in that brilliant tackle, you know, against that Grealish cross where he stuck his foot out. But, you know, we need to work on positioning other fullbacks because Grealish did cause us problems. But I do have to say, I think we need to get Jack Grealish because he can play cam and left wing and you could put, you could have a front three of Grealish, Martial, Rashford or if you want to give Fernandes a rest, you play Jack Grealish. I generally think we should go for Jack Grealish because I think he is world class. And the fifth and final thing we learned is Manchester United created lots of chances today. We did create a lot of chances because of the football we played. It all links to our other points, fast centre backs, higher line. Oli playing attacking football, knowing that you've got to outscore Villa because Villa are going to score, they got Grealish. You know, a team like Villa with Grealish, we could have easily sat back and counter-attacked. But we're at home. We want to go for this league. And the football we played today was is me mesmerising. I know I said it in my first point, but we played lovely attacking football. We created so many chances that I was frustrated. I think we could have got three or four, five goals. Another keeper, you know, Pogba just narrowly missed Fernandez. That brilliant save, and they went on to crossbar. You know, we, we did a lot today. We did a lot right. You know, defensively, they did cause us problems, but I think we defended it well. But the chances we created, I think if we drew that game, and obviously Villa had a fair few chances, and David De Gea made some brilliant saves, I have to say. But, you know, we created a lot of chances today, and I just thought the football was brilliant to watch. But, yeah, that's five things we learned versus Aston Villa. So, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, and let me know who is your man of the match in the comment section down below. There's a lot to choose from. I thought everyone was really good today. I was impressed with De Gea, every single player from, you know, defence to attack. Happy Martial scored. Well taken goal as well. Bruno penalty was... But, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. Comment your man of the match.